over his head. You'll narrowly miss. In today's video, we're going to be making fun popping rockets out of Alka-Seltzer and film canisters. Guys, we've got a pile of stuff here. We do. This stuff specifically is film canister containers mm -hmm. and Alka-Seltzer tablets. A lot of people may have already seen the way that you can experiment with this. We've got one quarter of an Alka-Seltzer tablet, about 15 milliliters of water, and as soon as you add those together, it starts fizzing. After eh, about 10 seconds, there's enough pressure built up in the canister that it will actually pop the cap off, and if you have it upside down, then it can launch up into the air. Whee! Making a little bit of a mess and sending a projectile up in the air, but it's not a big problem, it's just Alka-Seltzer and water. Here's the basic idea. You may have already seen someone making little popping rockets out of film canisters and Alka-Seltzer. Today we're gonna take a look at that and see if we can scale it up in a couple different ways. Film canisters used to just kind of be everywhere. Like everyone had some lying around in their house somewhere, whether they had film in them or not. Film isn't used so much anymore, but you can still get the canisters. I bought packs online. I just got a whole bunch of them. Uh, and they work great for this. They were not expensive and neither was the Alka-Seltzer. So this is a pretty fun little thing to do. And uh, after we play around with just these as they are for a couple minutes, we'll try and upgrade it in a couple ways. Now the fun thing about this is, yes, it's launching a little projectile, but this is pretty safe. Uh, you know, if you're launching or you're holding them, make sure you're wearing some sort of eye protection. But other than that, it's an easy thing to do in the backyard. So this is just a normal one, quarter tablet, 12-ish milliliters. Can to see how far it launches. That was actually less of a launch than the whole tablet one, so maybe whole tablets do get us better? I can see a little bit, yeah. I've seen it. I've, there's a variety, though. Like, I've had times where it went four feet and times where it went almost eight feet, it seems, so... Here goes. Nice! I think it was about the same height, but we could do halves or quarters. Both are good. Okay. There you go. Now you know. Doing this yourself. Halves or quarters. They work just fine. All right, I want to do a time test on a half one. Okay. And then I want to see if I can get one to pop while it's in midair. Okay. So I want to like wait till it's almost there and then toss it and see if I can get it to pop in midair. Oh, sweet, okay. All right, so I'm just gonna start counting. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> ten and a half. <laughs> that was awesome. It launches the caps quite nicely. Yeah. All right, I've got another half tablet, the same amount of water, and the same container. So hopefully, I'll have about the same amount of time for it to react. And so like one, one and a half seconds before its reaction time, I'm just gonna try and toss it in the air, and I just want it to pop up in the air. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. Ha ha! Wow! I got Callie and I got it to pop in the air. <laughs> Double points, ha ha ha! I did not trigger this because I was not expecting that. Probably wasn't in frame anyway. That's all right. Awesome. Mission accomplished. Got it to pop in the air. That was great. It's like homemade fireworks with only water. Now I'm going to try and shoot you with a lid. Oh, good. Wait, no, I need to get one. Nope. Yep. Okay. Okay, fine. Well, don't, not while I'm standing by the camera. Okay, go. Uh, I'm, I'm going. This Lo is as go as lower. I can go. Lower. You're going to aim at my face. It's like I can see it's full of foam. Uh huh. Good. That's exactly <laughs> what. <laughs> well, that one did not participate well. All right, my turn. Four, five, six. <laughs> it doesn't work. I think as well when we turn them on their sides. Maybe. Ha! <laughs> Yeah, I had to turn mine upside down to get it to launch. It just didn't want to shoot the cap at him. I'm gonna go back to using an entire piece, 15 milligrams water, so a little bit more water, because I'm having a lot of luck launching these at him. Dang it! Oh, it was not as far as I wanted it to be. It's leaking a lot. I don't think you're using enough. But I had good results with quarter for so long. I haven't had any results with quarter, but I've had lots of results with the full. Three, four, Five, six. Yes! Uh, I think I'm having a lot more luck than he is. Ha! Yeah, that was easy. I dodged. That was brave, Mark. All right, I do have a couple things I want to try that involve 
modifying our, our film canister rockets. Okay. First is to give it a guideline. I have some straws and we can glue a piece of straw to the side of it and then have our stick stuck in the ground and have it uh, be over the stick so it should keep it straight. Now I've noticed that they actually go decently straight already. So I'm wondering if putting the straw on is actually just gonna unbalance it and make it worse. Okay. But I'm gonna try it anyway. So I gotta drop it in, put the cap on, flip it upside down and get it down on the guide stick. Guide stick is not pointed perfectly straight up. <laughs> well, okay. uh, I think uh, because the guide stick is angled, it was just dragging along here yeah, you, way more you than I needed it to. You gave it more weight there, didn't you? More, more weight and a lot more friction. Launch pad's not quite straight, so it might be like trying to launch it. There angle. we go. Well, it launched. It still went uh, less high. Here, I got another one. I'll try. Well, it's not on the launch pad. It's probably a better spot. Wow! See, that actually worked pretty good. I'm gonna see if I'm even able to set it down before it launches with two full tablets broken into some two. pieces. Two. Yeah, broken into pieces. More surface area. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was but it didn't work well. Didn't build up a ton of pressure. No, very little. <laughs> you are just not having the best luck not, here. Not loving me, no. Well, apparently Callie is our launch master. Launch master. Yes. I think we should try scaling this up. I like it, let's do it. I got the basic idea of this from someone doing the similar, the film canister rockets on Jimmy Fallon. We have spelled out the TKOR logo. Glorious. And so we're now going to glue a half Alka-Seltzer to each one of these. And then while it's right side up or upside down, whichever you want to call this, we'll attach the canisters with water. And once all of them are attached, we're going to tip it and just try and get them to all launch. And then Callie and I are going to have badminton rackets and we're going to try and swat them out of the air. And we're going to have a target in the shape of that bucket. And we're going to see if we can swat some into the bucket. Here we go. Three, two, one. Nice. I can hear it from here. No, oh, no. come on. Higher. I can't really see where no, I'm aiming I can't at all. Either. Some of those went far. Ah, shoot. <laughs> that was so much more energetic than I was expecting. Oh, I could not see them coming and the bucket to aim at the same time, but it was still fun. That's a good sport. That's I a like fun that. one. Here's the problem now. We get to go clean all that up. <sighs> yeah. Guys, that's it for today, but we've always got new great stuff coming out for you to see. Hit that button there to subscribe to the channel so you never miss a great video, and we'll see you in the next one. Talk to you then.